Brrrah! Pick 3 to the 4 here, and here's my review of Splatoon 2. The story is pretty much the same from the first one. Another great Zapfish has been kidnapped by the Octo King the second, and Agent 4, who is the player, has to stop him from destroying Octopolis. The timeline is taking place during or after the first Splatoon, so the game will mention Agent 3, who is the player's first Splatoon character during the story. Not much to say about the story as after defeating the Octo King, the second, who is the final boss, the city is saved and everything instantly goes back to normal. The end. I mean, that's pretty much how the story goes. Zapfish is kidnapped by the Octo King, who is the second, and you have to stop him, and uh, after defeating him, pretty much uh, your ending. Let's get to the gameplay. For the gameplay is much better than the first one. In story mode, the player can now wield more than one gun, which is the sniper rifle that has a high damage from mid-range when charged, dual wielding which has a fast shooting rate, paint roll when jumping can splat more paint from a distance, hero bucket which is easy to use and covers most of the area with it, a machine gun with high damage barrage, a brush which is similar to the paint roll, and the rainmaker prototype which launches like a missile. But in order to use these weapons, in multiplayer, the player must play online rank and have to level up to 4 and up. Or it, j in order to use them, of course. When playing story mode, the environment and platform becomes a little difficult and challenging, which makes the player use strategies to maneuver around the stage to complete, showing that Splatoon 2 can be played by all ages, not just 10 and up. The bosses are easily predictable, but will require a specific weapon or upgrade to use against them like the final boss. For the mechanics, it's similar to the Splatoon veterans. Shooting the ink from either the floor or wall, form into an ink squid, and dive into the ink to reload along with riding on either the floor or wall to maneuver the platform to get either the high or great advantage of the player's opponent or level. The player also has the ink bombs and has special moves from either from the first Splatoon or this one. They're easy to use and memorize when playing the game, and using them in multiplayer is much fun to use it on. Online has the usual rank and battle lobby matches, along with all the old accessories from the first platoon, but has other new features as well, like Ink of the Hill, which is pretty much like King of the Hill, and Horde mode, where players up to four online fight together against waves of enemies and mini bosses to survive and win. It gives a lot of pressure for all players when progressing further, but gives a great challenge and gives co-op only players a great excuse to play online, though there's no mic for the player to communicate with each other in order to play as a team. For the conclusion, the story is bluntly the same, gameplay is more fun, mechanics are the same for veterans, and online has new features which is where the real gameplay is shown. Splatoon 2 has good, fun element to perform for all ages. For my final verdict, it's an 8.5 out of 10. Much like Mario Kart, this game gives a good point in fun gameplay. Though the story mode is not much to be fond of, but overall the gameplay is where it's at. Alright, that's all I gotta say in this review. Thank you so much for watching. Pick the like and pick the subscribe button just to help me be part of the gaming community. And pick the comment section below what do I need to improve on in my future videos. This is Peck 3 to the 4, signing out.